Wow. Exactly the time that I started. Ain't that something? Praise God. Praise God. I pray that you are having a blessed day. I hope y'all don't hear the, the neighbors. All. Exactly. Let me tell y'all something how the devil does. It's called assassination. Exactly. I said I was getting on here at 830. I promise you, you know what just happened? My next door neighbors just loud up the music as loud as they can get. Now, they ain't up in here. But the devil know what I was getting ready to do. So I pray that y'all don't hear it in the background. I'm going to try to over talk it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, let me know if y'all hear it. And then I want y'all to do also go ahead, tag, and share. Hello, everyone. It's been a long time, right? It's it's been a it's been a minute. It's been a real minute, right? Praise God. Praise God. All righty. Praise God. How you doing? How y'all doing? Praise God. I got a lot of stuff to, oh my God, I'm so full. I am so full because God have been working with me. That's why y'all haven't been seeing me on here. God have been, you do, You know, a lot of people don't understand. It is very important to stay close to God. Oh, come on, somebody, I'm going in tonight. You might want to tag and share somebody, hallelujah, because Apostle Deanna Dixon is getting ready to go in. Um, God has been, I don't even know where to start. There, there, as a matter of fact, I may be doing them back to back to back to back, but I'm going to tell you what God has been doing and how he's been working on me and working inside of me. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And whatever, what people don't understand is when, you have a calling on your life. And when you have a gifting, I don't care what type of gifting, it could be prophetic, evangelistic, just preaching, teaching. There is a reason that you have the gift. It's because God wants you to share with others, but not just share with others. God wants you to tell what he tells you in that secret time. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because a lot of you are not spending time with God. Oh, you can't tell me nothing because I didn't been on this Facebook for years. And what I see I see so many people actually just, you know, like compete competition. It's, it's, I'm going to tell y'all what it's all about. It's all about who is the best, who, ha who, can, who, who can, can be articulate, who can be intelligent, who can be this, who can be that. Can I tell y'all something? I just want to be powerful. I just want to be so close to my father that when he tell me to speak, it seep out of me. But guess what? That y'all don't really see me. Y'all see him. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying because you, I can't help you. But the spirit of God that's inside of me can help you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I got to tell y'all what God told me to talk about tonight. <laughs> it's amazing because I went through it myself. This, this is amazing how God does things. Mentorship. So, and notice I have it dedicated to my first mentor, which is Dr. Noel Randall. How you doing? I call her my mother because she's been like a mother. So now let me slow it. And then I'm going to progress to what this live is about. First of all, I repented to her privately and now I'm doing it publicly. Dr. Noel Randall, since I was 30 something, when God sent you into my life at Calvary Christian Center in Sacramento, California, we met at Bible college. Um, I, I'm from Abbeville, Louisiana. Just so happens her grandfather's from Abbeville, Louisiana. So I remember I had showed up there and I was looking sharp. Y'all know that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I remember she came over to me and she said, little girl, where are you from? I heard you from Abbeville, Louisiana. And I'm not going to lie to you. At first I was looking at her like, little girl, because you know, you, you think you grown when you're at least 19 on up. Well, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So long story short, she said, little girl, where are you from? And I can tell you right now, that was the beginning of our mentorship, her mentoring me. It was the beginning of our friendship. It was the beginning of a love ship. What well, was a love ship? Y'all about to find out in a minute. This woman took me under her arms. She began mentoring me. She was my first real mentor. Now, I've had others that were mentoring me in the church because I started in 1996. Remember that? But she was the first one with the prophetic assignment. I'm going to say it again. She was the first one. No, she wasn't famous. No, she wasn't this. No, she wasn't that. But, but she was dedicated. She was loyal. She had already had almost 30 years in ministry. Hallelujah. She was director of a school, as a matter of fact, of a, a Christian academy. Very smart. Uh, um, oh, my God. And always smiled. I could never understand. Even when she was going through, she would just smile. And I said, how you smile? Even in the midst of stuff, she said, you better learn how to smile, Deanna. And I couldn't understand it because, you know, we like keeping it real. That means whatever I feel, that's how I'm. No, 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 no. I finally got it. Smile through it all. Smile. Come on, somebody. Walk with me. I know it don't seem exciting now, but this this, this going to be some wisdom 101. So. I remember when I, one day I was changing and I had on some boots 
And I said, I got to change because I, you know, I thought I was Hollywood back then. And so I was taking off my boots and I hand them to her. And I remember she kind of like got dizzy like this. She said, look, girl, what kind of anointing do you have? I didn't know anything about the prophetic anointing that was on my life. Not for real, for real. You don't hear what I'm saying. This woman said, you have a heavy anointing. I mean, I, I saw it. I saw it with my eyes how she got dizzy, but I didn't know what she, you know, I didn't know what she was talking about. I didn't understand. So year after year, we got closer. Remember, we met at Bible college. It was Christmas. Christmas 2002 or three. I'm not really sure what year it was. So all I remember is her taking me under her wing. I was still rough around the edges. Okay. A lot rough around the edges. I, I was still gully. I was still ghetto. I will talk real loud. I still talk loud, right? But but you don't understand the kind of loud talking. If somebody would mess with her, I'd be saying, oh, y'all gonna mess with my mama. I'd be to knock y'all out. I mean, I'm, she stopped me from knocking somebody out in the foyer of the church. What's the foyer? In the front of the church. That's right. I, I rail back. I was about to knock somebody out. I, I, was, still, I was still working with me. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I, I mean, there were times when I was out of order and she would say, come here. Come here. And I'd be like, oh, what? What do you want? You don't hear what I'm saying. I'm, I can tell you story after story after story after story that I, when I made bad decisions and I didn't have money, she would give me money, food, didn't ask me for nothing. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. When I needed a place to stay, she opened up her home. Oh, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. I know y'all don't understand it, but you will in a minute. And I, I'm a fast forward. She watched me go through so much. And she told me the truth when I didn't want to hear the truth. So let's fast forward to 2012. When I become apostle, or really prophet is Deanna Dixon, I started thinking I knew it all. I started thinking nobody can't tell me nothing because I've arrived. Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. I've arrived. I don't need nobody to tell me nothing. I got this. I am anointed and I am appointed. I got this. So I thought, y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. So I started challenging her because that's what this new generation do. That's what some of you do. I'm going somewhere. <laughs> I started challenging her as if I knew more than her, as if I had the experience, as if I was better. I'm just being honest with you. I've been spending a lot of time with God on purpose because guess what? I'm not trying to really impress y'all. I'm trying to impress him. That way you know that I've been with him. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Hallelujah. I feel full in my spirit. Hallelujah. So tonight, how this all came about, I had called her a couple of days ago. Now, we kind of drifted apart over the years because remember, I'm all that now. I'm apostle Deanna Dixon. <sighs> God made me repent to her tonight. We we're talking just casually. I didn't even know this was going to come. I didn't even know he was going to make me do this video first. I knew I was going to get on here tonight, but I didn't know who, who would put this one first because God do what he want to do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God told me, he said, you need to repent to her because you really, when, when, when I started anointing you because of her labor, when I started anointing you because she showed you how to be a lady, when I started anointing you, because she labored and prayed for you when you was acting a fool. Because I anointed you. You forgot about her. You forgot to reward her. You forgot to honor her. You forgot to respect her. You thought you were all that, Deanna. I got on that phone. And I told her. I said, I apologize. Because you are a jewel. When God gives you a mentor, y'all better listen to this part very well. When God sends somebody into your life that has been seasoned for a season to season you and to help season you, to help, help mentor you, to help, help mold you, to help, help put knowledge and wisdom or educate you about this thing called ministry, don't you ever take it for granted. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I didn't even know that I had did that. Y'all didn't hear what I'm saying. Because I was being Apostle Deanna Dixon. What am I saying? God said, this woman stood up for you when everybody else didn't. 
This woman spoke up for you when people, when people, when, when really you, you weren't even worthy. You don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. And I didn't understand that. And then he went deeper with it. He said, how does it feel, apostle? Remember when you was doing those prophetic classes and people started coming against you? Some of it was true. Some of it was lies. Let's be honest. How does it feel? How does it feel to be taken for granted? How does it feel to be talked about? How does it feel to act like, how does it feel? I cried some more. I said, God, that's, that's not funny. This is not a funny conversation. He says, it's not meant to be apostle. Mm, Y'all ain't ready for me. I suggest if God, you see, see and, 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 and let's talk about one other thing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's about being loyal to people that are not loyal to you. That woman was always loyal to me, no matter if I had went on with my life as an apostle. She was always loyal. I could always call her and she would pick up that phone, even when I act like I didn't know. Y'all, I'm just being honest with you. Hallelujah. So I pray that my testimony and my realness and my truth help you because honestly, and I'm just going to be real with you. And, and, and y'all think y'all get a bad rap, but no, you don't get no bad rap. Well, what was happening is you, you got big mouths and, and, and you don't understand. This young, these young ministers that's growing up, these young prophets, you have it just like I did. But what you don't have that they will always have, that I was always have, was experience and that you were chosen. God put you there. I didn't put you there, honey. Hallelujah. So when God, so, what, so, so, so hold on, hold on. Are you saying that God made a mistake when he told you to take my class? Are you saying that God made a mistake when he told you to call me a mentor, teacher, mother? Are you saying that God made a mistake? Because the Bible I serve and see when I read the word of God, when I listen to God, I don't see God making no mistake. People of God, that's why the church is not powerful. Because you think you arrive. I'll be almost 50 in June. And can I tell you something? When I thought I arrived, God showed me, sit down. You need to learn some more. So how can you think? Just because you are anointed, appointed, you can teach, you can preach, you got talent, you get it, that you have arrived. The devil is a lie. So I suggest, and this is not of just about me. This is about every mentor in the whole wide world. When God puts somebody in your life, you better respect that gift because it'll stop everything in your life. I was wondering why. Hmm. I was wondering why I've been so hard lately. Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. I was wondering why. I said, God, I've done everything I did. He said, but you also did some things along the way. That you got to make straight now. Y'all ain't ready for me. We wonder why this don't go good. Or, or this or that. Or this or that. And, and he, one thing about God. That's why it's important to spend time with him. Because when you're spending, spending time. He say. Now let me show you. What you've done. That you don't even know that you've done. It'll hit you to the core of your spirit. It'll make you cry. Hallelujah. Wisdom. Knowledge. Discernment. Don't you understand when a gift is before you? Now, hold on. Are they flawed? Yes. Do they make mistakes? Yes. Are they wrong sometimes? Yes. But does that negate who they are and who God chose? Oh, my brothers and sisters, I'm talking deeper than you ever think. So I suggest if you have anything against any of your mentors ever, whoever they were, I suggest you make that thing right because you will never go to the plateau that God wants you to go because guess what? You didn't learn one thing who was truly in charge, which is God. Excuse me. Everything and everyone that God assigned to your life is from God. It ain't about you, honey. And it's to make you better, not bitter. And guess what? I, I, I get that because I'm a hard teacher. I, I, and, and be honest with you, she was hard too. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I got mad at her sometimes. I'm gonna be honest with you because she was real. Minister Douglas was real. Another one. Uh, the Pastor Godot. A lot of them. I, I, I've been going along with. I'm angry. I ain't gonna lie to you. They got on my nerve. But as I sit here, the Apostle Deanna Dixon, I thank them. And there was a lot of them after her. I thank them. I thank them for being honest with me. I thank them for being real with me. I thank them for correcting me. I thank them for rebuking me. I thank them. 
because I wouldn't be who I am today. And whether you like it or not, I might not have a million dollars. I might not have this and I don't have that. But what I do have ha, is to be reckoned with and a force that only could come from God himself. But thank you, God, for the people that you chose along the way to help me be me. Good, bad, happy, ugly, sad. <laughs> so I suggest that you repent to God. And repent of that doggone mentor. Stop having pride because you'll never go where you need to go. You'll never grow like you need to grow. Because let me tell you something. It's not just being talented. It's not just being preacher, a teacher, a motivator, a stimulator, a motivation. It's about being true to your God. And one thing God don't like is fake. And if you don't believe me, keep living. So I pray that you understand. This thing is real. Even when they're wrong, shut your mouth. Even when they're right, shut your mouth. And don't get on Facebook because you'll get backlash. And if you don't believe me, keep living on that one too. I'm just being honest with you. Hallelujah. People don't like real talk like this. No, no, no. Because it shows you you. Mm -hmm. So you're not really ready like you think you are. Because anybody could preach. Anybody could teach. Anybody could reach. But honey, it takes a woman a true woman of God and a true man of God to say, I was wrong, but God forgive me, hallelujah, and take not the Holy Spirit from me, create a clean heart in me, God, because I don't want to lose the Holy Spirit. That's if you're after the Holy Spirit. Now, if you just have to show and glow, then carry on, because that's all you're going to get until the next hot thing come along. Y'all ain't ready for me. You see, it's about consistency. It's about consistency. People that love God for real. Because the, the hot ones, they come and they go. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You're hot today and tomorrow somebody else hot. That's just like the world do it. That's never what God held. God did not orchestrate it like that. The world did that. And I didn't come on to the church. Y'all go from the person that gets hottest, the hottest, the hottest, the hottest. Baby, I don't care who hot because they might be cold tomorrow. Give me somebody consistency. Give me somebody that didn't been in, 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 in the gully for real. What am I saying? The trenches that pray, that have lost it all, that have gained it all. Hallelujah. That's who I want to be with. Somebody that's going to be loyal. Somebody that know how to stand when stuff get rubber. Oh, come on, somebody. And say, guess what, apostle? We're going to pray together. We're going to do this together. Not run. Because truth be told, a lot of you, you ran. And that's why I didn't run after you. You you can't go where I go. You are a runner. A runner and a stunner. I'm looking for somebody that's going to... I got you. I got you too. I got you. I got you too. I got you. I got you too. Just fight off what I am and who I am with my flawed self. Need nobody just when it's good. You, 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 you with me? That's not how it was. That's not how it is. Hallelujah to his name. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. So that's all I have to say about that. I'm probably going to get back on here because I'm so full. I cannot tell you. I'm so glad I didn't get up on here for what, I don't know, two weeks. I don't even remember. I mean, me and my father, which is God, the true father. We've been having a good old time. Some have been good. Some of them I didn't want to hear. I didn't want to hear that. But it had to be told to me. It makes you better. That's where wisdom and discernment comes. That's where growth. That's where the, that real anointing come in. Hallelujah. Because now you can share it with others. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers for that is who you are. <clears throat> Let's get it.